If you watch my second YouTube channel or any of these videos, you may know that I've ordered a Toyota Supra. I have one of the Storm Grey versions actually like here on Gran Turismo. The reason I did this, I just it's a rare opportunity to buy one of the last cool six cylinder sports cars in my opinion and that's why I put my, my reservation down. Yes, it's similar to the Z4. Yes, I've heard the meme million times. But see, it comes in a special color because I bought one of the 20 special. What? What do you mean it's available on the Z4 as well? So what is special about the Supra? Well, the color's out the window. It's not got a manual. It's I don't know what what is special about it. As I said, it is one of the final Japanese sports cars that we're ever really gonna get of this caliber, the six cylinder layout without going hybrid. And, and I know Lexus has got a V6 hybrid and doesn't sound very sports car-ish to me. A lot of Europe is going fully electric by 2025, 2030, 2035, that kind of year range, which means every market will kind of follow suit because a lot of cars are sold in Europe and they won't be able to sell cars here that aren't hybrid or fully electric. But I think it's special. I think it's a special car, but let's see um, how special. Oof. It sounds pretty sweet, actually, for a BMW. For those that have already seen, we did a drag race, a few drag races against the new Supra and a bunch of other vehicles, including my RCF. And we found that the Supra definitely is launching to, to 60 faster, but the RCF uh, definitely catches up and passes. It's a big meaty V8. It's got a lot more to go. Uh, we did it against GTRs. We did it against everything. But again, let me just come back down to earth. A lot of people compare this car to what it isn't. They compare it to... Uh, R35 and an NSX. I've seen an image floating around. What? It's a half, less than half the price of those two vehicles. It's a sports car, not a supercar. But that's what we're going to change today. We're going to make ourselves power this boy up to maximum power. Now, to be completely fair, they haven't been able to do that yet because, well, I mean, someone swapped to two J's, is it? We don't know exactly what the Super is going to be capable of. But Gran Turismo thinks it's 594 horsepower. Then we can reduce the weight as well, which I'm going to keep it as stock because generally most people aren't going to reduce too much weight. We've got traction control on for now, which I can change on the fly. And because we have an automatic transmission, I don't think it's going to be much of an issue to upgrade that. So we're on special stage X. Is that what it's called? I can't quite remember, to be honest with you. Uh, because I know people will complain about me using the front camera view, we're just going to use the rear camera view for a little bit. We're going mostly straight. It doesn't matter. Anyway, what I want to do is slow it down as we come to the straight. It's not letting me shift. Put it on automatic. <laughs> Maxing the revs out a little bit there. I hope it does have a proper rev limiter because I hate when cars don't. The Mini doesn't and it's kind of weird to listen to. But anyway, let's get it to a stop. And what I want to do is, again, most people are going to drive with traction. Are people complaining why I was using traction? But we're going to do a few with and without anyway, but with. And we're off. <laughs> it definitely doesn't like that it has more power. It's not happy about it. The traction is definitely very German in the fact it's like, how dare you put more power in? But I have heard good things about the BMW engine that they've put into this Supra. Good things indeed. It sounds fantastic in a BMW. It still sound even better in a Supra. It sound even better in a Supra with a nice exhaust system. So it definitely feels pretty sluggish still. Gran Turismo sensor speed isn't fantastic. So I think what I'll do is bring us back down again, lock up the brakes, and we're gonna whip it around because that is an uphill climb. It's not exactly something I wanna do. Let's have a bit more of a rolling start this time. Oh, she likes that better. She's lurchy. That's pretty quick to the speed that you'll need to be doing. Let's be completely real. The type of people that are going to be driving this car is like me. And the fastest speed you'll probably get to go going is 70. So you will speed to 70. And to 70, it's pretty quick. The 0 to 60, I believe, is quite impressive for a little sports car like this. And again, if you throw more power in, reduce a little bit of weight. Bob's your uncle. Now we'll turn traction off. And we'll give that a go. Oh, she liked that, didn't she? She likes that. Whoo! Okay. I want to see the launch from the outside of this. Turn my indicator off. I just realized these blinkers are very strange looking. They don't look orange. They look kind of red. Maybe this is the American spec. Wait, which side are we on? 
This is not an American spec. Okay, three, two, one. Spin it, spin it. Just held it in third there. 80, 100. I tell you, this is gonna be a cracking car for going on ramps. <laughs> it does feel too, I think it's the interior that throws me off the absolute most. Don't get me wrong, BMW interiors are fantastic when they're in BMWs. I don't want no BMW interior in my Supra. I want the display that shows me everything I need. Like in the original Supra, all of the buttons and displays and everything was, were aimed towards the driver. The, this is the most disappointing part for me, okay? I would accept the engine. I would accept that it is basically the chassis of and everything is literally the same as the Z4. What I will not accept is the interior layout being, like the concept, one of the main things they said about the concept was that the interior is going to be like that of the, the, the last generation and it's gonna have everything. It's kind of putting me off a little bit of the Supra. I'll see when I test drive, but right now I'm just kind of like, do I really want to do this? Anyway, it's just a, something I'd never do in real life. Yeet! What? <laughs> I have melted my tires. Let's go to the discovery page and search for liveries. And I want to search for them specifically for the new Toyota Supra. So let's search by car. GR Supra RZ. I don't know where the RZ comes from, but let's have a look at some of these designs. I want to see what the community has come up with because I have to say these liveries I have found to be the best. If, okay, one quick thing. I definitely would not have picked the matte gray as a color myself personally the only reason i got that is because it's the special version i would probably have picked the yellow or the red that fantastic color this car is going to suit so many different colors and that's again a reason why i want this car the customization opportunity is going to be immense we already know people are doing stupid stuff to it they've already made that's amazing that's the livery that they had on the car that's pretty cool and we got the paul walker livery on there that's pretty sweet. I like that a lot. And the green, that's actually quite nice. So this car, again, will suit a lot of color combinations. Um, I just feel like partly sh should you hold off and wait for it to, for the price to come down, for them to bring out the manual version. There's a lot of things that waiting for this car might actually end up being better. But I think I'm gonna go with one of the earlier designs. I liked the yellow with the stripe on it. That's definitely what I'm going to be going with. Add to collection. Maybe it is in turquoise lavender, just like the RCF. I'm not so sure it suits it as well. There's a bit too much going on, I think, for that color to suit it. But a nice purple would definitely go, I think, just not chrome. Then want to throw some wheels on there. Again, no idea what wheels are going to suit the Supra. Definitely not the mass spoke wheels, I would say. It's going to be more of the, the mod modern kind of, oh yeah, like this. made the diffuser yellow that's not nice so the stripe didn't really work properly for some reason i am properly messing this up but what i want to explain is that i am now using my manual shifter so this is what the super would be like if it had a manual variant which hopefully in the future it will mess that up on site okay let's give it a go again because now i've explained what's going on here we go that's a coat. It's all right, I still got the points. For some reason, it, it's such a grippy boy. I think to do is to do with the layout. This, this car is incredibly short on the wheelbase. So it's just basically begging to be a grippy boy. Here we go. Too much. <laughs> hey, look at that. New record, let's try it again. Obviously, the internet is very happy that a 2JZ got swapped into the new Supra. I just accidentally sw swapped to be to using the shifter pan paddles. Uh, but I have to say, I would be much happier, more impressed. Woo! Look at 
look at that. Uh, I would be much more impressed if they started to build upon that already great BMW foundation. It's a new engine. I want to see what the new engine can do. How about we start playing with that engine? Yes, the 2JZ is a fantastic engine. And it's going to give you ridiculous power. For drift cars, it makes total sense. Because that's the engine people know for drifting. That and an LS. Whatever variation you want. Basically, putting an engine that you already know into a platform. I also think this is going to be much easier than real life. Because of the fact I know that it has one of those stupid electronic handbrakes. Stop booing me! Let's try again. Lock those wheels up a little bit. There we go. So I'm using the shifter paddles now. <laughs> and it seems much quicker, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> seems like I'm doing much better. I think I might be doing a, a new high score. Come on, no! <laughs> Every time I learn a section, I mess up another. Come on! Yes! 6,000. I'll take that. I'll take that home. Anyway, that is if Super had 600 horsepower. It seems quite a bit faster. I know 400 with a bit of tuning is completely possible with a BMW platform like it is. So I'm excited for the future of the Supra. Uh, I may be an early adopter. I'm still not 100% set on it. I might find that I want to wait a little bit longer when it gets towards the actual test drive. I'll see when it gets to the test drive if I can drive it properly. I will see if I get sold on it or not. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sounds pretty nice. Smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.